Today on That Techo Guy, I'll be showing you how I created this homemade automated cocktail bar that works with Arduino, is 50% 3D printed and makes the drinks that you select from a mobile application that I also designed. Stay tuned. I nicknamed the bar Spitzy BB. BB is short for Barbot and Spitzy is an old nickname I had when I was younger. The cocktail bar is wall mounted to save space and can hold a total of 9 bottles and dispense 4 mixes from the middle section through food grade plastic tubing. The dispensers I'm using are all Beaumont metric type optics, varying in sizes of 50ml and 25ml shots. The cocktail bar is switched on and the first thing it will do is run through LED light tests and go to the home starting point. The application is opened on my mobile phone. Bluetooth needs to be turned on for the application to work and if it is not, the application will tell you. If you still insist not to turn it on, it will tell you again. Since the bar uses BLE version 4 Bluetooth, you cannot simply connect using your typical phone Bluetooth. The close sign is clicked, just like knocking on a door and the bar Bluetooth ID is displayed. After clicking that, let's wait and hope the bartender opens. The bar is now open. Clicking on the bar open sign takes you to the drinks menu where you can select from a variety of cocktails to make with the ingredients in the bar. Here to demonstrate, I am going for the Madras, which looks nice for a hot summer day. Go for it! Notice how the LEDs on the glass holder and arm will change color according to the drink that will be dispensed. A shot of 50ml vodka is first. Around 75ml cranberry juice is next. And to finish, 75 ml of orange juice. When going back to the home point, the LEDs turn green, and when at the home point, they do a rainbow sequence to show that the drink can be taken. Add a slice of orange as garnish. Let's see. Mmm, yummy. Great, let's make another one. Let's see. So, we made madras just now. Let's make something that uses a different glass shape and size. Something like this blue margarita looks good. The glass is placed on the holder. And go for it! Two 25ml shots of tequila are dispensed first. Then on to a 25ml shot of blue caracal. And on the way back, 50ml of lime juice is dispensed. Looks good, let's try it out. I'm using a lemon for garnish here, 
but lime is normally used. Wow, what a kick! Bottles are held by a six-bottle wall-mounted bracket and three individual brackets at the end that are mounted to the front of the bar which is made out of chipboard. I 3D printed some spaces that the brackets are mounted to so that later the dispenser lever will be in line with the bar optics. The 3D printed glass holder arm and dispenser mechanism move along the length of the bar on two linear 8mm smooth rods and are attached to a piece of plywood that is running on four 3D printed linear bearings. This plywood stops at a limit switch which will mark the home position. The 8mm smooth rods are held in place at each end with 3D printed 8mm rod holders with a 3mm screw and nut to tighten and hold the rods in place. A toothed GT2 belt runs from a NEMA 17 stepper motor to a pulley on the opposite side and connects to the underside of the plywood to move it. A 3D printed cable chain is also attached from the plywood to the back of the bar so that the cables from the dispenser and the LED lights can turn easily without being pinched. The NEMA 17 stepper motor is controlled by one DRV8825 driver board that is connected through the main Arduino Uno board. The arm will move into position under the bottle and rotate the servo dispenser, which is a small block of wood that I attached with two screws to the servo arm. This pushes the dispenser optic level up to release the drink into the glass. I designed a 3D printed wheel that has two ball bearings and moves against the wall and is attached to the back of the glass holder arm for better support, so the arm does not tilt down when dispensing shots and more dispensing pressure can be made. The mixers are dispensed using four small diaphragm pumps that have one N4007 diodes connected in reverse across their positive and negative terminals of the pump in order to protect the Arduino and the four-channel relay switchboard from power spikes when the pumps turn on and off. I designed some simple 3D printed tube holders going to the pumps so that they are kept securely in place and feed down to the 3D printed four mixer holder. The Paltier mini fridge that I had created in another video keeps the mixers cool Tubing is passed inside the mini fridge from the back and goes inside each mixer that will be used. Each tube has a specific mixer. The four mixer tubes pass up from the back of the mini fridge, up through the bar, through the tube holders. Each tube goes to each input of the small diaphragm pumps and out from each pump and down into the mixer at the front. When the pump is activated on request, using suction, it pulls up the liquid from the carton and down the respective mixer tube. How long this is activated for is determined through the Arduino code and by the drink being made. The LED lights are WS2812B 5V strips. The LEDs on the glass arm and holder are controlled with the main Arduino Uno board while the LED strips around the back of the bottles are controlled by a separate Arduino Nano controller since those are working on a loop. Communication from the bar to the mobile app is done through an HM10 low energy Bluetooth module. All of the bar and its components are powered by a single ATX computer power supply. Both its 12V and 5V lines are used and are capable of 16 amps and is more than sufficient. The lines are both protected by 100 microfarad capacitors as shown. The mobile application runs on Android and was designed using the MIT2 App Inventor, which is very easy to use to create different applications since it also uses block type programming which makes it easier to get used to.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe for more and to help support my channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.